I ate a. I did a bridal photo shoot a week after my brother's wedding which upset my sill. I, 25 female, I'm a hotel receptionist and I do modeling on the side. I did a bridal gown photo shoot three weeks before my brother's wedding but the ad came yesterday. It was for a local boutique which isn't really big, they have maybe two branches in our region. My brother, Simon 30, got married last week but they postponed their honeymoon because of his job. So when the ad came out yesterday, my sill, Nancy 29 female, saw it, a medium-sized LED screen, in the shopping center. I also posted some photos in my IG account. She called me and asked why I have bridal photos in the city center and I told her I got an offer to model bridal gowns for this boutique. I then asked her what she thought of my photos. Honestly, I was expecting a feedback like, you look beautiful, or, the gowns look good on you, but instead she yelled at me on the phone and accused me of being jealous of her. I was surprised because Nancy and I are friendly with each other, I didn't expect her to blow up on me like that. She hung up on me and a few minutes later I got a call from her sister, who sounded really upset with me for stealing her sister's thunder. I told her Nancy's wedding was literally seven days ago, so why are they accusing me of stealing her thunder? We got into a verbal altercation, she called me names, I retaliated and called her names before I hung up. Last night I saw a TikTok video about the whole situation and a lot of Nancy's friends are siding with her, they said I was jealous of the bride that's why I did the photo shoot. They're also commenting nasty things in my IG so I had to turn the comment section off. I asked Simon to talk to his wife but he wants nothing to do with it. Am I missing something here? Because quite frankly I don't understand why I am an asshole. Edit for additional context. Nancy is still posting wedding photos and videos in her social media accounts. Not the asshole. I don't understand what's wrong with those people. She had her day, you are doing your job. This sounds like people in their teens, for God's sake. Not the asshole you were hired for a job. Her and her friends are ridiculous. It's not like you wore the wedding dress to her wedding. Not the asshole. How long is it going to take for her to think everyone should still be focused on her? Like you said, it was seven days ago. Is she going to accuse you after two weeks, a month or two, a year after? She needs a grip on reality and a reminder that while you are happy for the newly wed couple, they have had their wedding day. Ignore all her clique wife friends and tell your brother to grow a little bit of a backbone and tell his new wife to stop being a catty little what child. Otherwise, good luck to him for living with that for the rest of his married life. Good for you op for doing that shoot and sticking up for yourself over something you had no control over I'm sure those dresses looked amazing on you, purple heart. Not the asshole. You were working and even if you weren't how long is anything bridal banned for because of her wedding? She, her sister and friends are ridiculous. Not the asshole. You did it for a paycheck. Sounds like they are jealous that she wasn't asked. Not the asshole. Being hired for a job is very different from showing up on the wedding day in white or something. Perhaps she's unhappy that you look so much better than she did on her wedding it honestly sounds by the way she's reacting is some sort of comparison she's making between the two of you. I'm sure you looked amazing and that insecure part of her is rearing its ugly little head. Am I the asshole for putting the truck in my name? I'm F20 and my fiancé is M23. We bought a 90s car that needed some work. He got it fixed and he started driving me places in it. When I would ask or showed I wanted to drive it he got very upset about it. I never got to drive it but his friends have. We ended up splitting for a min over it. I recently put an down payment on an 2022 Toyota Tacoma double cab. I went with my uncle to get it and when I signed for it I put it in my name and my uncle co-signed for it. When I pulled in with it he came outside smiling from ear to ear. He hugged me and thanked me for getting him his dream truck. I was trying to explain to him it was mine but he had already jumped into it. He then seen the paperwork laying there and asked if he needed to sign it. Before I could answer he read whose name it was in. He slowly got out and went in the house. He didn't speak to me for the rest of the night. While he was at work he texted me and said, it's really disrespectful that you got my dream truck and didn't put it in my name. I'll be staying at my mom's tonight. I didn't respond. Later on he sent me a pic of an GMC asking if it was pretty. I said, I didn't like GMC but if he liked it, it's pretty. He said, well doesn't matter you got the Toyota. So I just left him on read. He has yet to come home and I'm regretting getting the truck. So am I the asshole? Edit I forgot to mention that my uncle co-signed because I don't have any credit yet. Where I got the truck you have to have credit. 
My uncle has some bomb ass credit so he was willing to sign because I've been saving up for a Tacoma. I saved up 4k to put down and got an loan. My uncle didn't care to do it because I make roughly 1.2k every month plus I have in savings my grandpa put up for me. My grandpa said I can use it to pay for the car if need be. I dk how much is in it but my grandpa said it could get me through life with no worry for a year or so. Edit 2 Everyone is concerned about me affording they truck so I'm going to break it down for you. He owns the house we live in. Utilities are no more than $300 a month which he pays. We spend at most $350 every month on food. I pay half of the $350. I'm on my dad's insurance and he pays it. So all I paid before the truck was $150,175. The truck is a little over 37 k the payments every month is $530. I've paid more a month on a car while paying other bills. I was able to not get such a high payment due to my uncle having good credit plus I'll be paying it off over 72 months. But can always trade it in if I want to in the future. Not the asshole. I mean who the fuck assumes you bought them a car? Get rid of them. Not the asshole so you split up because he never let you drive his vehicle and then he had the audacity to think you went out and bought him a truck? You are too young to tie yourself to an asshole like this. Please think long and hard about if this is the type of behavior you want to deal with the rest of your life. Not the asshole but do you really want to deal with that pettiness for the rest of your life? Not the asshole. He's the asshole for his behavior. You made an extremely questionable financial move. The monthly payment is a huge percentage of your income. And 4k down on a 40k plus truck puts you underwater. But this is not a personal finance subreddit. Not the asshole. I am stuck at his audacity to think it was his. Serious question. Do you want to deal with this behavior long term? $1.2,000 per month and you financed a 22 Tacoma. I make like $6,000 per month and cringe at my $500 car payment. This is not a good financial decision. I'd see if you can return it since you just bought it. Also not the asshole. But seriously, your uncle should have guided you on this purchase. Am I the asshole for refusing to pay my mill back, with interest? Back about three months ago I lost my job as an RN following a gym accident that left me partially paralyzed in my left leg. I had to go through PT but it wasn't super severe by any means and I regained most mobility by last month. I'm still in PT however because there are simply certain things I cannot do, like bend the leg without me guiding it with my hands. So it looks like I'm walking with a peg leg, basically. During this time my mill sent my husband like $600. We did not ask her for the money but she knew we were pretty hard up at that time because my insurance does not cover all of PT and it was rather expensive so our savings was going away at an alarming rate. Also during this time my mill made me feel like absolute shit because she kept making comments about how broke she was and kept saying, well if I hadn't helped you guys out, stuff like that. I often reminded her that we did not ask for the help. She tried sending us more money shortly thereafter and I refused to accept it because I wasn't about to have that shit dangling over my head. Just like my own scum family had done for years. I hate the whole, you wouldn't have that if it weren't for me, bullshit. It's the reason I refuse most help. Thankfully I was able to start a new job from home about a month back and we were able to start coming up with money to pay mill back. Well, my husband goes to his mother's yesterday to give her a portion of the money we owed and when he returned he starts talking about wanting to give his mom like $400 extra. I asked why and he mumbled some excuse of, well she didn't have to help us. I told him I wasn't about to do that because $400 is literally like 34 hours of work, close to an entire paycheck of mine. Well, to sum it up, he later admitted that his mother had said that she deserves interest on the loan since it took us so long to pay it back and she almost went broke, trying to help us. Generally she is not a money-hungry person or even this ignorant if I'm being honest but I'm still not willing to do it. I said absolutely not and if he plans to start paying her back interest, especially where he has been doing other things for her on top of this, like redoing her porch, painting her house, burning brush, mowing her six-acre lot, etc., then I would be rethinking my options and potentially pulling my money from the shared account because I'm not going to be funding his mother extra money on a loan we didn't ask for and it's now going to be cutting into my paychecks, bill money. He keeps arguing, she didn't have to help, so I snapped and said, I didn't ask for her fucking help and I said no. I was calm prior to this. 
He says I'm a nasshole for losing my cool over money and that I'm acting selfish because, again, she didn't have to help. Am I the asshole? $400 in interest on a loan of $600 for three months? That's over 260% APR. She's a loan shark. I hope your husband's not in charge of the family finances. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, but are you sure that your husband didn't go to HOS mother to ask her for the money? That would explain her calling it a loan. Not the asshole. She didn't loan you the money. She unasked sent it to you. It therefore was a gift. You have no obligation to pay it back. No, even implicit, contract to pay back was entered into from your side. Paying her back is therefore already a nice deed. Paying her interest would be massively over the top. But that to me doesn't even seem to be the deepest issue. Why doesn't he stand up for you? Why didn't he stand up and not accept the money in the first place as you discussed back then? Why does he bend over backwards for his mother but does in no way seem to have your back in this regard? You need to have a serious talk with him. If your husband is offering $400 interest on a $600 loan, I would like to loan you a few hundred thousand dollars. Tell your mill to eat your ass. Give her the money back plus some nice flowers or a gift card and then tell her to fuck off. And tell your hubby to grow some balls and start standing up for the two of you or he can fuck off back home to mom. Is he still breastfed? 400 interest on 600 is usury. At most 10% is fair, which would be 40 bucks. She didn't mention interest at the time she loaned you the money though so not the asshole. Info. Was there ever any discussion of it being a loan vs a gift? Any written contract? If she didn't tell you it was a loan but now wants it to be one after the fact, don't pay her interest. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for telling my son and his girlfriend I'm not raising his kid while we were at a family party? I'm 35M and I have a 17YRO son. I had him very young and wasn't all that present in his life at first, so I wasn't much of a father for the first two years of his life. His mom and I then got back together, and she passed away a year ago. He and his girlfriend are now expecting a baby that was obviously a surprise. His girlfriend moved in with us. They are both still in school and plan to go to college. When they told me about the baby, my son said that since I work from home, they can still go to school and get their degrees while I take care of the baby. I told them many times that I will not be raising their child, and they need jobs, they can do part-time jobs with school and get two jobs over the summer to save up some money. They are both mad about it, but we didn't discuss it anymore. We all went to my brother's birthday party and the whole family was there. My son's girlfriend decided to announce the pregnancy there to everyone, she is four months pregnant. Everyone was a bit shocked but congratulated them, and then my brother joked to me, damn, grandpa at 35, you could be the baby's dad. Girlfriend then said, well he will be helping out with the baby a lot so he will be like an honorary daddy, and everyone laughed. My son then said, let's make a toast to my dad who will help me out by caring for my child at the beginning, to make up for the time he missed out on the first time around when he was a baby. I told them BITJ right there that I will not be raising or supporting this child financially and if they want to have it, they need to get jobs and grow up. They were both pissed especially his GF. I Ada? Not the asshole, but short of kicking them out, I don't know what your leverage is going to be once that baby is born. Are her parents in the picture? Well, your son is a total asshole for putting you on the spot like that in front of your family. That much cannot be argued. 17 is too young to be having kids. And no one should be forced to be a parent, or surrogate parent, against their will. If your son wants the privileges of adulthood then he needs to be ready to take on the responsibilities. So overall I would say not the asshole. Not the asshole. They fully intend to drop this kid on you and try to guilt, manipulate you. Don't ever give an inch because they will take a mile. Not the asshole. Your son and his girlfriend made a very grown-up decision to have a child. When you make grown-up decisions you get to figure out how to make it work using your own resources. You don't get to pawn things off on someone who isn't involved. You set your line in the sand and hats off to you for doing that. You are doing the best thing you can by making them realize that having a child isn't a cakewalk and they need to be the ones to step up. Not the asshole. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Ask your son how he plans to make it up to his child for not being there much for the first four years of its life because its parents are too busy going to college, and probably acting like they're not parents because, you know, they're young. That's, dot not how it works. Your son and his girlfriend need a reality check about what it takes to have a baby and raise a child. 
Not the asshole. I've got news for you. They will be dumping that baby on your ass every chance they get. They will not get out of bed. They will be lazy. They will be on their phones. They will pop out for 15 minutes and be gone for hours. If you don't plan on enabling them, move them on out of your home. They can get a small apartment and gets jobs and look after their responsibilities themselves. 